Welcome to Blake Archery. I'm David Blake. This last weekend here in Tennessee was juvenile season for turkey hunting. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to a young man that got his first turkey. His name is Easton Strickland. Uh, he really got a nice bird, a uh, nine inch beard, inch spurs. Uh, I'm really proud of him. Uh, congratulations Easton on your, on your turkey and I hope you get many more. Good job buddy. As you can tell, it's a little cool out today. I'm sitting by the fire. But today's show is about the Hex hunting suit. Um, the Hex hunting suit has been around for a while, and I've had several people ask me about it. Um, and so I decided to purchase some and try it out for myself. Uh, if you're wondering what Hex stands for, like I was, uh, I done a little research and it stands for Human Energy Concealment System. And with the hex suit, uh, they've got a grid built into the fabric of the suit. And this grid is designed to block your electrical energy radiation. So how is our body putting off electrical energy radiation? Anytime you move your muscles, you're putting off electrical energy radiation. So according to the HEX company, if your heart's beating, then you're putting off electrical energy radiation. And this radiation, uh, animals are able to sense the electrical radiation that your body is emitting. Uh, I bought the high performance base layer in the green, they've got uh, three different color options for the high performance base layer. Uh, they got a brown, and they got what they call the green, and then they got an anywhere system. Uh, I got the green, but like I said, it's a base layer, uh, so you could just get the brown. I went ahead and got the camo, but uh, it comes with a little half zip shirt. Comes with like long john pants and a hood, a face shield. Um, I'm gonna be trying it out. My plans are to use my wife's bird feeder in the research of this suit. I'm gonna fill up the bird feeder, set the camera out there, let you see how the birds are coming in. With nobody out there. The next, I'm going to be camoed up but without the hex suit and see how the birds come in. And then I'm going to video the last part wearing the hex suit and of course the camouflage and see how the birds respond then. And I'm really excited to do this uh, test. Uh, I hope the hex suit works. If it works 75% like they claim it does, then I believe you can get closer to the game. Come on with me. We're going to test this suit out. I'm extremely excited, and I'm hoping this suit works like advertised. Getting closer to the game. Who don't want to do that? So let the test begin. These are the full bird feeders and these are how the birds usually are feeding on the ground and covering the feeders. I'm sitting at the bird feeders without the hex suit. I had two or three birds come and get some feed and fly off pretty quickly. No birds on the ground. In this video footage, I have now got on the hex suit. Now y'all, I sat out there for maybe 30 minutes, so there's only a few seconds of video footage I'm going to show you, just to show that I maybe had a little bit more bird activity. Still, no birds feeling safe enough 
to feed off the ground or to get any closer than before. And they're used to Rufus, so Rufus is laying over there like a lump on the log. So I don't think they're scared of him. Uh, just not sure. Okay guys, I did day two of testing out the suit um, because David's on shift at the fire department today. Um, it's really pretty much the same as yesterday. The birds will dive down for a quick bite, but pretty much get out of there. Normally, the feeders are covered up constantly. They'll feed off the ground. Um, out of distance of the camera, some came down on the ground today, but nowhere near or as close to the feeders like would be normal. So, I don't know. I think it's still inconclusive. So, we'll see how it goes tomorrow when David wears it turkey hunting. So, if y'all have the suit, you've used it, let us know what your results have been.